Hello everybody, quick video here. I've recently bought a light box uh, photo shooting table uh, off of eBay, uh, just basically to help with my reviews and my photography. And it arrived in three massive great boxes and really, really abysmal instructions. Uh, the set itself is fantastic, it's really well made uh, and great value for money. Uh, at about £100 you're getting a lot of uh, great materials but like I said the instructions are pretty pants and I haven't actually found any decent videos online explaining how to put this set together so here I am I'm gonna make one uh, so yeah first of all I'm gonna open up all the stuff and I'll lay everything out on the table and we'll take it from there all right straight out of the box we have uh, all of the rods we've got two of the extra long rods with a clasp at either end you have two of the slightly smaller rods the clasp at one end, at the top we've got this other clasp with this small bracket on top. And then we've got two slightly shorter rods again, with the uh, bracket midway up and midway from the top. And these ones next to them, the same size, but they only have the single set of brackets, whereas these ones have the uh, singles at the bottom. Then we've got these two smaller rods. We've got these uh, rather long shafts uh, with nothing on either end. And we've got these slightly smaller ones. They're going to build up the basic framework of the bottom of the uh, table. And then we've got these additional ones here. Same length as the smaller ones, but they've got the uh, clasps on the end. So they're going to thread into some of the brackets. The clips here, they'll hold on the uh, perspex. And we have these other larger brackets as well. The Perspex I've still kept rolled up, that's in a separate box. And I've also got all of the lights in uh, separate boxes. All of this arrived in three large boxes. So first of all, what we're going to need to begin with, we're going to need the brackets on the top here and another set of brackets here. You're going to need those. And then we're going to need the long poles with nothing on and then the shorter poles with nothing on. That's all you'll need for now. What you need to do, you need to have the long brackets uh, with the double clasps on. The clasp needs to be pointing forward and then the double clasp needs to be pointing inwards. So this is going to be on the right hand side. That needs to be fighting inwards and one out to the back. You need to get both of those. Then as you can see, all I've done, I've grabbed the long blank pole and placed that in this section here and in this section here. And I've just tightened it with my hand using the brackets underneath here, you just twist those and it tightens it. This is going to form the front of the base. Now, all I've done here, I've gone for the smaller of the rods and that's going to form the side. So we just literally slide that in. There we go, that's in. And just righty tighty, tighten that off. There you go, that's going to form the side. Next you want to grab these sections here. They've got the double clasp on there and then nothing on the other end. These are going to form the back sections. So what we'll do, we'll line those up, put those side panels in, and then we're going to use the long uh, second remaining shaft and that's going to join these two together. At this point you should have something that looks like this. You've got the blank poles on the back, here and this section here is going to form the front. Now remember this is the front of the table because it's got these sections pointing out. You want to grab two of these. You've got these long sections here that plug in on here and here and you've got this tip on the end. Basically with the tip pointing to the back of the table you want to just pop that on top. So that's going to go on here and again over this side don't uh, tighten up your table as well. Have it kind of hand tight because if you start tightening now, there's not going to be any flex at all and you won't be able to get things on. At this point, we're going to have something that looks like this with these two sections facing to the rear of the table. To show you the instructions, um, this is why I'm doing a video. It's all in Chinese and it's all got letters on them, but none of the letters are marked anywhere on all of the parts, so it's kind of guesswork. So I thought if I do this video, hopefully it will help you guys to make one of these a lot easier in the future. Next you want to take these brackets. These are what allow you to move the back of the table up 
and down. And basically, the handles need to go on the outside. And if you look here, one of these is shorter, one of these is longer. The shorter one, with the handle facing outwards, needs to go on to that side. Now, if you look here, they come pre-screwed in, so you need to make sure these are unscrewed. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this had been misassembled or not. Um, basically, to get the handle on the outside and have the longest section on the bottom still, uh, it just wouldn't work because you need these tabs out of the way. Um, you need those on the outside of your frame. Otherwise, they're going to get in the way of when you put your uh, perspex on. So what I just did, it's just a bolt through the middle. Basically, you just unscrew this all the way and you just basically reverse it. You just pull the bolt out and there's a washer in the middle and just uh, put the bolt through the other side. Simple as that. Uh, yeah, easy peasy. Existing metal poles that we've got have got these sections on the end. They're now going to be placed in the top here. And once that goes in, you can then bring this in around it, tightening it up, and that is going to form the back of the uh, table. Now, with the uh, you've got two of the existing sections left, what we need to do, we need to grab this section here where it's going to go, it's going to go up on the very top of these with the uh, screws. So that's going to go up onto there. So once we've tightened up these brackets here, um, like I say, they're only hand tight for now because the frame is still coming together. We're going to be left with something that looks like this at the moment. At this point, all we're left with is the one long bar, a stodgy cup of tea, and these two short ones. Basically, the short ones are going to go into the front they're just going to peg in like so. I can't do it all with one hand, can I? Uh, kind of. They're just going to push him, and then the front bar section is going to go over the front like so. You want it that way, so the uh, so the winder is on there, and then the winder is on the underside. Once you put those on, we can then start adding the perspex. And there we have the initial frame. Yeah, it's not a bad size, it's a little bit smaller than I was hoping for, but the price difference going between this frame and the uh, 3 meter by 1 meter was a huge jump up. So, uh, your next step is you want to grab these kind of bolt clasps and then you slide your, uh, your base down from the top to the bottom and these are going to secure it. There we go, that's the uh, Perspex on there. As you can see, I've got the uh, two main clips on the top here so I can uh, place my lights on there if I want to put the lights on. Uh, now there's two sides to the Perspex. There's this kind of matte side which I've used here. And on the other side is a very high gloss. The trouble with this is because it's rolled, it naturally wants to come round like this. So when you get to the bottom here, it's really tricky to bend this section around. You literally, if, if you're doing it on your own like I did, it's extremely difficult. It would have been easy to have two people there, one to bend it and one just to put these two grips on here but as it is it's on now and it's actually a really nice size huh, hi chucky now the next stage is just to being build the uh, lamps and the swing arm uh, basically you get a um, lamp section just these tripod sections with the telescopic pole on uh, to build the big lamps here the telescopic pole has got a bracket on the end uh, where you just screw in the bulb and these are just like a tent you just put the tent around the bulb first and then screw it in and they've each got a cover on it. And the swing arm one is slightly more complex. You get this uh, bracket with it, with these holes in the inside, and there's just a slot on the bottom here. You tighten up the, the knob here, just twist, 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 until that's uh, tight and gripping. And then we also, we've also got an additional bar, which is gonna come across, and at the end there's got a bracket on it. The bar just slides along the top here. We also get a sandbag. You can put your sand in here, and this is going to activate. This is going to act as a boom swivel. So you go out here, and you can put your lamp on the top. This is what one of the lamps look like on the inside. You've got all the reflector material, and you've got a screw there, just where you put your large bulbs in. And you've also got a light diffuser, which is a white sheet with Velcro on, which just links up around the outside of the uh, light box. And there we go, now you just need to get creative. There's the light boxes all set up, one above. And I've got a fourth light box which I'll put below. All that's left to do now is to have fun taking photos and videoing. Enjoy guys, hope this has been helpful. Until next time, goodbye.